Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you're here. So my name is Michael Boyle, for those that don't know me. And I just want to start this with a little bit of relevant information about myself so that you can get to know me a little bit, because it's going to be an intimate kind of topic and discussion that we're having here. And so yeah, I don't unfortunately get to know you as well as you're going to get to know me in this talk, but but uh, I look forward to hopefully to, to, to meeting you all more in person at some time in the future. So how I got on this journey, how I got to where I'm at right now, um, really started when I had my own experience with severe depression. Right? I was uh, severely depressed in college. I was uh, quote unquote, big man on campus. I was a popular guy, um, had a cool girlfriend, you name it. And yet at the same time, I was, I, I had this crippling depression that kept me from getting out of bed, doing nothing but really crying and, and, laying, and laying in bed. And to the point where my, my friends had to call the counseling center and uh, have me removed from school. And so I, when I, when that ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me, because I entered into twice a day therapy sessions with a man named Jed, and he was a really cool guy. And he was kind of reminded me very much of Robin Williams in the movie, Goodwill Hunting, uh, a movie that I can really relate to. And, and, um, and so he really, he really introduced me to some things that were kind of life altering. And then in addition to that, uh, my sister challenged me. She's like, I was a jock or whatever. And she's like, yeah, I bet you can't get through a yoga class and whatever yoga that's lame. And, but I, I took the challenge and I did it. And at the end of that class, like something just broke inside of me. And I was like, I'm never not going to be doing this healing work. I'm never not going to be kind of pushing the ed edge of what my mind and my body and my spirit is capable of. And so that launched me into a path and into a path and career of my own personal development. And then <clears throat> something really strange happened is because I'd done a lot of that work and I thought that I was really over a lot of things and I was really pretty healthy, pretty healthy, open-hearted um, guy. And, <clears throat> and I was putting myself through my second uh, master's degree because I'm a, I'm a bit of a nerd and I'm a bit you know uh, intense about the things that I study and how much I love to learn. And, and, and I was working by day, uh, excuse me, I was going to school, graduate school by day. And then I was working night shifts uh, in a manual labor position. I was working as a stagehand in the Bay Area. Um, and so I'm trying to support a family. I'm going to grad school. I'm working manual labor. I have two kids and, a, and, and my wife. We're all living in one, literally one room, uh, uh, a one, one room in Oakland because the rents are a fortune. And uh, a lighting truss uh, fell in my head. And I got a really bad head injury. And what, ha what ensued from there was that I went like backwards in terms of like depression and anxiety, you know, extreme, extreme depression, extreme anxiety. But here I am, I'm, I'm a provider. What am I going to do? You know, there was another kind of confounding circumstances that I was, I was in, I had been living overseas for a number of years and I hadn't paid into like stuff that would enable me to get ad adequate workman's comp. So I had to go back to work. I had to stay in graduate school with this severe head injury, um, with you know an incredible kind of depression. Um, I started having panic attacks, multiple panic attacks a day, and and I have two little kids at home, and you know it's it's a total nightmare. You know, insult to injury. Like we got fleas in our room from a neighbor cat. And like my, my baby, my, my son Finn was getting bitten by fee, fleas. It was one of these just incredible test times of life. And what I had to do was I had to apply everything that I had learned over the years and everything that I was learning in my graduate degrees to myself. I had to rebuild my nervous system from scratch. And, and so that just kind of solidified the, the experiential learning of like not only having, you know, going through it with other therapists, but then I had to put myself through it. I had to heal myself and I had to learn and figure it out. And that was just pivotal, right? And then even though all of this is true, a number of years later, now probably six or seven years later, um, uh, also in a rough period of my life, and I'm now, now I'm, I'm on the brink of divorce, right? And my wife and I are having a lot of trouble. And this is what's really relevant to this talk today. 
and we're having, you know, we're in a really bad, bad time and we start throwing around the D word, which is the last thing in I, I ever want. I'm, I'm a pretty old fashioned guy in some sense. And I err to the side of commitment and keeping the family together. And like, those are my ethics. Those are my values. And I was not at this time able to kind of like, I, you know, I wasn't able to reach out for help. You know, I was embarrassed and I was ashamed, but thankfully my wife, and I'll, you know, we'll talk more about this later. My wife got us where we needed to be as is so often the case for women are the ones that kind of tend to be in a stereotypical fashion, tend to be the ones that kind of prompt this healing work. And, and thankfully we got where we needed to be and got, got with my mentor who gave us the advice that we needed to get and, and showed us a process that, that I then incorporated with all the other things that I was learning, with all the things that I had learned before. And then, and then through, you know, through, through kind of thousands of hours of working with clients going through this process of myself, my own personal healing and my own marriage reconciliation, not only reconciliation, but just being in a position of, you know, the best place that we've ever been, even though there's all these COVID pressures and even all there's all, you know, we really have each other's back. We really like, we really are a team. We really are a we, right? And so to have that type of support, to have home be the sanctuary that it needs to be in difficult times, is imperative. And so that's really what brings me to this talk, this, this lecture, you know, the things that I, the ways in which I work with individuals and couples, um, that that's, that's the, the, the pertinent background. So thank you for being here. I'm so, um, I'm honored really, because this is my life's work. I'm passionate about it. I, I haven't just studied this stuff. I've lived it. I haven't just worked with others with it. I've lived it myself. And uh, I wish you all the best, and I hope this is really beneficial for you. So welcome.